Hey, what well, going on, people? It's Taz again. Um, you're in the Caribbean, where you're in South America, where in Mexico, you know, all over. You know, today I want to um, bring your attention to the Weeble platform and their chart. It made simple for you to kind of see the top gainers, the losers, the top losers are the most active. All right, so today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite topic, generating wealth through the stock market. I'm your biggest fan when it comes on to generating wealth. I really want you to take the advantage and the opportunity out there in the stock market to invest and walk a road of your dream, financial freedom. You know, that's what I mean. Yeah, free up yourself. Um, to my entertainers out there in the Caribbean, across South America, Mexico, you know, um, sometimes you make substantial amount of money and, you know, you can start investing in companies, you know, and so that way, you know, you have something to invest for your kids and for your family in the next 10 to 20, 30 years down the line, you can always, you know, in, you always have something there. I was just um, listening to someone and they were saying, um, you know, Mike Tyson, you know, had a lot of money, you know, and Things are different for him right now. So I'm not saying anything to put anything. I'm just trying to bring that your to your attention. So, you know, if you're in the entertainment world or if you just um if you are a dad and you've got enough money that you can put some in a, in a stock for your children or for you kids or for you know for the long term out there i want you to go ahead and start today you know start wait stop waiting start today start investing you know buy one stock first one you know but you got to do your research you got to do all that i'm just here to give you information i'm just here to like point you in a direction where you can say okay maybe i can try this maybe i can try that because you know everything is just about how far you want to take it and stuff like that. So anyway, let's move on. So basically, um, if you're new to the stock market, say, okay, you're like, oh man, I have no clue what to do. First and foremost, you can go to Weibo. You can download the app to your phone. If you have a desktop, you can go to www.weibo.com. Then you can fill out the information. This is a real money, so your information's gotta be correct. So think of it like a casino. Well, the money is real, so everything has to be correct because your money is gonna be going inside this platform. And so you wanna have a correct address, mailing address, you want everything to be correct, okay? Once you do that, you have to give them a day or two to verify your information. And then once that happens, then you can start looking at stocks. Now, shares of stocks. You have a stock and then you have shares. Okay? Now, think of a pizza. Okay? And the pizza is called coconut. That's the name of the company, it's Coconut. So now Coconut's gonna sell you some shares. And the reason why Coconut's gonna shell, sell you some shares is because they need Coconut, they need to do some research. Yeah, they need to do some research. And in order for them to do research and get more supplies to, to enhance and have better production coming out, they sell you shares. 
So that's how it goes. Now you can buy a share. For instance, say we're going to click an acro. See, it's selling at $12.27. But first, I'm not telling you to buy anything. Just giving you an example. Stop. So, that's per share. Yeah. But first, before you go to all of that, you need to read and see what the company is all about. See if it's something that you think will grow like big companies like Amazon, big companies like Google, big companies like Tesla, you know, if it will grow Walmart, Verizon, you want to look at companies that have like a 10 year span of being in a business and know how it operates, something that you can, it's like building a, a, a strong foundation. As well as like building a strong foundation. So you want to invest in something that's strong. That's been around for more than 10 years. You know, you can call it a, uh, a company or a stock. But you can buy shares. When you buy shares, now you have a share inside of whatever company you choose to invest in. But first, you have to read about the company. You have to ask yourself some questions because it's life like everything else. I am not telling you. I am not telling you to go buy anything. I'm just giving you some information. So, we're going to go back to the screen, top gainers, top losers, and the most active. So on the screen is the top gainers. You know, they're talking about like, okay, these are the stock that made a quite substantial amount. Um, people bought a lot of shares in these stocks. They bought a whole, you know, as you can see, it's all green. That mean, you know, they were buying, people think this, these stocks are what they want to invest in. You know, you have the stop losers. Uh, top losers is not necessarily like they lost or anything. It's just people didn't buy into these stocks because whatever reason they had in their mind. You have the most active. That means this is the stock that people looked, researched on and such and such. But didn't really to invest a lot, you know, they kind of look around, look around, but they never invest a lot in it. So, I just want to bring this to your attention. I hope you find some nuggets in this and um, start investing in your future.